Welcome back, Survivors 2, The Walking Dead, No Man's Land. I am the Lucky Irishman, and I take whiskey with my tea. So, this week we have the Army Base Weekly Challenge, and we're going to get right into it. So, I am working on level 24 difficulty, well that's level 20 Survivors. Um, after you get to one level above, whatever... Merle may be. Best bet is to definitely use Merle so you can take advantage of his damage capabilities. Now, up until level 20, you can get away with using two assaults plus either a shooter or a hunter. I prefer a shooter because I can hit two different targets in two different directions. Hunters are good, but not quite as good as shooters early on. Now, let's see. First one. You just have to kill the enemies. Pretty easy. So we'll tell him pop off that armored guy. Got these. So this one is going to be pretty easy. Hold your ground. Kill them as they come. Don't get too close to the explosive zombies when they show up, and you should be just fine. When they do show up, Merle is ideal for taking out all of them at once. Now, the fun times come when the big show shows up. So as long as you keep them at bay, you should have no problem. And this worked out well because I can take out this explosive. And that whole side is done. Merle, Abraham will keep these guys at bay. And from here, it's pretty much just cleanup duty. Like I said, easy peasy. And here we have one more three star victory. Now here we have all around the watchtower. This is one of the first missions that can get just a little bit dicey depending on how hard your survivors hit and where the walkers spawn in from. So you've got to get the supplies and normally it wouldn't be a big deal but I'm going to start by have him right there take that. Alright, once you get the Grand Deers out of the way, getting the first supplies is generally pretty easy. But you want to make sure you get these up top really quick. And then move on to the right side, which is where the rest of the supplies are as well as the exit. <coughs> and if you're fortunate, you can get out of here in one piece. Alright, so far so good. We're going to keep rushing for that exit. Again, the supplies on as you can along the way. And this is actually turning out really well. As you can see, I'm um, just about to the exit. I'm grabbing the last supplies. And we are home free. Often enough, depending on how tough these walkers are to kill, they will overwhelm you and make life miserable. Fortunately for me, that is not happening, and we are getting out of here. And here we have point of entry. Like the other missions, it's best to use ranged fighters to get through it. And I do want to point out, you don't want to use melee combatants on most of these fights, because... They simply do not have the damage potential that you're going to need to bring down these grenadiers. So we'll pop off this armored guy and keep him off Abraham. We'll jump Merle forward because he is using a winter bow. Strong advantage for us. Now right here it's important to try to get as many of these walkers over here as you can with one go. Abraham is struggling. 
Then we'll move Daryl up to do the same. And let's see if we can, if Merle can avoid getting hit by that level 24. If we're lucky, he'll dodge, or Laurel if he won't get hit altogether. Nice. Now we'll pop Grenadier. Take out the remaining walkers. Uh, we're going to keep going for a minute. Not even a Brutus. We're doing good. Now it's important as quickly as you can to get as close as you can to the exit with the rest of your survivors. And we are home free. And now we come to Out in the Open, which is a pretty straightforward mission. Alright, so we got Lucky here. All the walkers that are on site are right out front, so we can take them out pretty quickly. Now you definitely want to be taking them out before you advance too much because that's a nasty surprise later levels and that's the difference between having one star and three. I'm gonna run Abraham around. Abraham will be the one that opens the gate because these guys are more powerful fighters. And we're gonna be wanting them to hold back the horde, so to speak. Daryl and Merle here make an excellent match for keeping the walkers that Daryl want Abraham or your choice survivor opens the gate. You have a little bit to wait, but hold off on that for now. You have a little bit to wait, but you should have no problem keeping them at bay with these two. Your biggest problem is going to be these armored walkers that are trumping their way up towards you. But ideally, even if you have to back up a couple spaces occasionally, you should be able to keep them held back until Abraham gets the gate and then you're home free. As you can see, the armored walkers are not even making it close. And since we're almost there, I'm going to go ahead and move my guys back a little more. No longer any need to be holding them at the front lines, and we are home free. Now the fifth mission in this challenge is called MASH. Nice hallmark for a good TV show. But unfortunately, this is also the first really bad mission. Now, if you're really lucky, everything goes right, and you can get out without a scratch. But if you're not, then you can probably expect to take some losses in here. Try to keep your survivors at a distance from the walkers. Unfortunately, they will come around and surprise you. Now, that should be it for the first wave. Now it's a matter of rushing out and grabbing what you need. Lucky me, Merle can take both of these guys and still get that box. I'll have Abraham run up for that. Go ahead and get Daryl to the exit. Looks like we are getting out lucky today. If you're unlucky, they're spread out enough that they will that second wave will come before you can get out. Which has happened to me a couple times even on the lower levels. Okay, mission number six, the last in the challenge, is also by far the most dangerous. This is the mission where if you're going to lose someone, it will be here. Now, you don't have explosive walkers to deal with. What you do have to deal with, though, is an explosive door, which, for our purposes, is just as bad. And we all got off scot-free, nice. So we're going to have Mer uh, Abraham run up and open the door, while Merle and Daryl 
keep the horde at bay. Which, early on, will actually be fairly easy. The hard part comes when Abraham opens that door. Or rather, a little more accurately, when we blow the door open. So I'm going to have Bill blow the door. Merle will take out the first armored and keep our flanks clear. And we'll see how lucky we get today. Alright, so right now we have to advance forward and take out that armored and make our way to that door. So the question is, can we do that without serious difficulty? I think Joe's going to be on his own with that last one. Bill's out for the count for the next mission, but it looks like we can get everything else out of here. Not bad. I've seen a lot worse. And we are home free.